Stay tuned to watch a video about blue light and if it can damage your eyesight. Henshaw's Knowledge Village. This video is free to watch thanks to the kindness of our donors. If you would like to donate £10 towards our work, you can do so by texting Henshaw's to 70085. Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village. My name is Mark Belcher and today's video is all about blue light. We'll talk about what it is, where it is, can it damage your sight, can it give you sleep deprivation? And also, what can you do about it? So stay tuned. Okay, let's talk about blue light. What is it? Well, it's all around us, especially in the day. But unfortunately, at night too, nowadays. So blue light is just one of the colour spectrums in daylight from the sun. So it's not something that's brand new to us. We've been uh, evolving with it for all of our lives. So, um, why am I talking about it? Well, blue light is actually in devices too. So we're talking televisions and we're talking screens. So that might be your phone, your computer, your laptop, your tablets, all that artificial light, including the lights that we use in the home, has blue light. So blue light, can it damage your eyes? So there are some studies that suggest it can, but there are also so lots of studies that suggest it can't. So who knows? Um, some studies have tested uh, the eyes of animals and also cells, and intense blue light has damaged them. But there isn't any evidence to suggest that it can damage our eyes in the kind of general use of what we're receiving today, which is essentially using um, tablets and, and kind of screens, including TVs, a lot more than we've ever done. Okay, so, so that's that really. And uh, you can go and have a look at the research. Um, but our friends at the Max Society suggest this. It's unlikely. So they're not saying yes and they're not saying no. So let's move on to can it disturb your sleep? There's lots of evidence that suggests it can. Okay. Um, so going to bed and looking at your phone, looking at your tablet, gaming, TV and all that is not helping your natural body clock to calm, to calm down and produce something called melatonin. So men melatonin helps you sleep at night, okay? So if you've got kind of 24-7 daylight coming into your retinas, then it's not gonna allow that kind of uh, chemical release to get you chilled out, ready for sleep. So there's lots of evidence to prove that. And what we'll do, we'll put some links into the description if you want to kind of research any further. Um, but this video, to be honest, isn't really about can it damage your eyes and can it give you kind of sleep deprivation. Um, the main part of this is to tell you that we can do something about it. Um, you could say, and it's a good thing to do if you can, is reduce your screen time. So we're talking all your computering, all your smart devices, and even your television. Um, but I don't know about you, but I like my screen time, so um, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. So I need a better solution than, um, than turning it all off. So fortunately, because there is so much research, um, the manufacturers of these products have actually installed blue light filtering. Okay? And we're talking on everything, even televisions. Although it looks a bit weird on a television because you need that kind of colour contrasting. Um, because it, what basically the blue filter does, it kind of, um, well, it takes blue out and you can actually see it and it's quite obvious really, but it makes it like a yellowy color, all right? Um, and we're gonna show you that um, in the video later on. So, um, so it is on Android and it is on Apple. And guess what, it's even on Microsoft. So they've all really took on board the research to suggest that it definitely is uh, keeping you awake at night, and it may cause damage to your eyes. So, um, so I think it's a good thing um, to actually use it, and that's the reason for this video, really. Um, I do use it, I've been using it for yonks. Um, before I kind of knew about, um, it just basically, it's just less glare on your eyes at night, to be honest, that's why I use it. Uh, and the apps kind of do it in different ways. You can set it up so it turns itself on at a certain time of the night and day. 
Um, I've just got it set to sunrise and sunset, um, so it just automatically comes on. And after a bit, you just get used to it. Um, you don't really notice it. You do notice it when you turn it on and off, because it's just so obvious. But if, you, uh, if you've not got that screen time through that transition, it works really well. So this latter end of the video is kind of me showing you where it is in the systems. Um, I've got my iPhone, I've got an Android, and we'll have a look at uh, my desktop in a minute, I'll take you for a walk. And we can actually show you where it is in the settings. Dead easy to find, dead easy to do. It's free. Um, one other thing while we're here, uh, you can buy sunglasses um, to filter out blue light as well. So if that's something you kind of fancy, um, go to your local opticians or your eye specialist and ask them. Okay, so I've um, got my Apple phone. I'm just gonna go quickly into settings. And the next place you need to go is to display and brightness. And then there's something called night shift. So it's just there and you can see my settings are already in at 10 o'clock till seven in the morning. But I'm gonna go in there just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you've got something called less warm and more warm. And to be honest, they're all the same, um, no matter if it's Microsoft or Android, because it's the same process, I suppose. So I'm gonna go to less warm for now, which is no change. You, I don't know if, you know, if you're able to see, it's, it's the same as, it's kind of you know, bright and, and blue-ish. You can see the blue light in it. I'm moving it to warmer now, and it basically yellows it out. Um, it's just quite extreme, so you kind of pick the bit that you like. I just, to be honest, I just have it right in the middle. Um, so that's night shift on Apple phone. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to borrow an Android phone so I can show you that. So I'll see you in a minute. So who knew? Mark with an Android. It's not for me. Anyway, um, it is for some though. So um, on the Android, slightly different and it's named slightly different. So I'm just going to go into the settings, uh, which is the usual cog. And then I'm going to find display. So I'm going to click on display. And it's called Eye Comfort Shield in here, right? So I'm going to click on that. And then you've got this color temperature. So I'm, as I did with the iPhone, I'm just going to move it over and it basically changes to that kind of yellowy um, color. Um, move it back and it's, you can just see it's totally bluer. So that's Android's Eye Comfort Shield. Pretty good. What we're going to do now, we're going to go for a walk to my Microsoft desk and we're going to have a look at what they do in their settings to uh, introduce the blue filter. Um, by the way, while we're here, it is on a Mac as well. Um, thought I'd uh, plug Apple, as always. Thank you. So welcome to my workspace. Yes, I stand up all day. It's good for the back, I believe. So I'm on Microsoft here, so I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to show you around and tell you where the display type is. So go into settings there straight away. I'm going to go into system. Soon as into system on display, we're there straight away, which basically says night light settings. Um, and there's also a little um, blurb over to the right saying night light can help you get to sleep by displaying warmer colors at night. So I'm going to go into that setting. So night light settings. And then what you've got, similar to the Android and the um, and, and Apple, is you've got a sliding bar. And I'm going to basically take that all the way to uh, the highest strength. And on the screen, for those that can see, it does the same thing. I mean, this goes extreme. So it's actually gone, as opposed to kind of yellow, where it's gone to uh, a bit ready to me. Anyway, um, so you can kind of adjust that, but you can see the total difference in, in the brightness. But it's not actually brightness. It's just taking that blue light out. So there you go, that's, uh, that's everybody kind of covered. We've got Android, we've got Apple, and we've got Microsoft. Uh, they're all pretty much similar, um, and they're all doing the same thing, they're trying to take that hue down, um, which is that blue light, so you can sleep better at night. So there you go, I hope you liked that video about blue light and what you can do about it. 
And as always, if you did like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, because um, we get brownie points for subscription, and pass it on to your mates, because um, the more people know about the things you know about, the better. So until next time, I'll see you again. Our videos are helping people around the world to go beyond expectations. If you enjoyed this video, please donate to us using the links in the description below or the text donation number 70085 to give £10 instantly. Thank you. For costs and terms, please see the description below.